Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So we have a lot of stuff to go over in today's video, most notably lots of disabled, a new icon series skin, and much more. Uh, so due to an issue, one of the wrap sections in the item shop have been disabled. This section may return at a later date, and here's a full list of the current wraps now disabled. Quite a few of these are currently featured. Now apparently, I believe it was because of a lag issue where it's made your game slightly stutter while viewing one of the tabs in the item shop, but I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah, I really cannot confirm to you guys what exactly is wrong with this. It seems to me that honestly no one really knows. Uh, Fortnite status didn't really tell us, Fortnite creators don't really know, and the community seems to be at a loss of words. Uh, so let us know in the comments below if you know why why the wrap section has now been disabled. Uh, so into the icon series skin section. So Flex Power is an incredibly huge YouTuber. He has over 6 million subscribers and he is currently a Brazilian channel. Now a lot of people keep saying he does not deserve his skin simply because he is not known in the US and Europe and stuff like that, which is absolutely outrageous. I let you guys know last video that the same problem has been happening in my comment section on Twitter and simply everyone who is covering this, it seems to me that everyone is kind of hating on this dude for absolutely no reason. Uh, so yeah, pretty unfortunate news, but it says from Looney, as you may have seen, Flex Power, the most electric Brazilian content creator, is our next content creator to join the Icon series, uh, we, and we want you to celebrate this iconic, no pun intended, moment with us. Get ready to bring your energy with the following items. The outfit, the Flex Power Skin, Pickaxe Electric Crescents, uh, Back Bling Electro Crest, and Emote Get Flaky. All these cosmetics will be available in your in-game locker as soon as Friday the 24th of February at 10 a.m. ET. These will be available to you before everything else hits the item shop at 7 p.m. ET on February 25th. And don't forget to check out the Flex Power Icon Series Cup this Thursday the 23rd where you'll have a chance to earn the Flakes Tag Spray and Hello Hello Emoticon for 8 and 16 points respectively. Cheers, Looney. So yeah, that's the full release date of the skin itself, the upcoming cup, and some free rewards. With that being said, V23.50, the last update of the season, has been added to the staging servers and is set to release on February 28th, with the season now starting very close to the beginning of March. Into the next topic, so some brand new challenges are now available today, so in case you guys did not know this, the most wanted ultimate heist is now available. Crack cold blooded vaults, move up the leaderboards, and earn in-game rewards to become one of four Fortnite's most wanted. Uh, so this is available today and here's the four free rewards you guys can get. So it says earn the GG flame emoticon just for signing up. Invite a friend and earn the live to ride spray. Crack 20 cold blooded vaults to earn the retro rivals wrap. Seems like a lot of work to be honest. As a thank you for participating you will earn the clean getaway loading screen uh, after the leaderboard challenges have ended. I don't know, man. I mean, it's pretty cool rewards, but cracking 20 vaults seems like a lot of work simply for a wrap. I guess we'll leave it to you guys in the comments below to debate if this is actually worth doing. Uh, with that being said, another free reward. In case you missed it, Winter Warrior Phoenix uh, and the Fur 4 Sub-Zero set are all planned to be free and part of the next Fortnite Refer a Friend event. RAF is where you have to sign up via a website. Link one or more friends, complete tasks with them, and, and usually earn about 60 levels. Uh, so yeah. It's a pretty hard thing to do, and it's gonna take a lot of work to get this skin, but honestly, it's a pretty good looking skin. I actually don't have a gameplay of it currently as I lost it, but yeah, I mean, you guys can definitely tell uh, from the skin and from the renders, it's still a pretty awesome looking skin, and I would suggest honestly trying to get it. With that being said, from Top 5 Gaming and Tommy, I think one of these guys uh, might be inside the Season 2 Battle Pass, which I 100% agree. Just yesterday, we were covering uh, everything we know about Chapter 4 Season 2, and these skins were featured in the skins we do speculate coming in chapter 4 season 2. 
So of these four skins, which one is your favorite? And I must say, these are very highly detailed for a concept skin, so I would say they have a pretty good chance of coming to the game, especially the first one and the last one. Like, these are drawn extremely well, and I really like to see who the artist is uh, for these skins. Maybe I'll use them for my future Icon series skin. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, February PlayStation Cup starts on February 22nd. Earn A points for the Cuddle Rain Spray. Uh, not quite sure why we're still talking about Valentine's Day. That was a long time ago now, but if you guys actually want to get this Valentine's Day spray tomorrow, well, there you guys have it. Awesome uh, news about Family Guy. It has been leaked. It has been exactly two years since Ford X Family Guy was first leaked because this image was found in the game files. In the following months, there were more and more hints about the existence of this collaboration, but until now, it was never officially announced. Uh, so yeah, he actually put an emoji where it looks like he's trying to say, like, shh, be quiet. So he might know some stuff upcoming for Family Guy X Fortnite. So I guess all the stuff you wait and see, you know what this is going to actually be. Now into some clickbait. We we need an underwater utopia-themed season uh, where there's crazy build-up towards an actual Kraken event. Uh, do you guys remember back, like, back in, like, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2? The whole Kraken event, the whole monsters and caddis and all that stuff. Man, that was a crazy time in Fortnite for clickbait. And I really hope, honestly, this one Day, we get like some sort of actual Kraken inside the game. I've been really wanting this for the past couple of years where it's essentially like a huge watery season that's full of like massive waves, tidal waves, tsunamis, you know, stuff like that. Crazy weather systems, deep water, and monsters inside the water. It would just be so cool and so interesting to see Fortnite games trying out this new type of, you know, game mode or just season in general. Uh, last but not least, this is probably the craziest creative or Fortnite creative uh, map I've ever seen so far. So a guy named Ambush made this. I have absolutely no idea how, but check this out. So yeah, that just looks mind-blowing. I had no clue you guys could do this in Fortnite creative mode. I might have to dabble a little bit inside of here and see if he wants to help me create some cool stuff for you guys. Uh, but with that being said, that is all, that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I really wish there was more stuff to talk about, but unfortunately, there just simply is not. Right now, I am looking for a YouTube editor, and I'm really serious about this. If you enjoy Fortnite and have a comedic bone inside of you, make sure you guys send me an email at, at happypowerbusiness at gmail.com uh, for your chance to possibly feature another YouTube channel. It'll pretty much be a daily editor, so you have to work fast, but of course, I will not rush you guys too much. So, if you, if you are interested, send me an email, and I hope to see you guys in the next upcoming video.